Hey there, welcome back. Today we're going to go over our new uh, Linux Hub Builder that I've created. And the Linux Hub Builder is a script to guide you to create your own uh, custom Arch distro. So uh, I made a new uh, ISO called Linux Hub Builder and it is version 1 and I will be putting it up on the website soon. And on this version, it's, it's basically the same open box uh, version of Linux Hub. So when you install it, it's everything's going to be the same as the Linux Hub Open Box Edition. Uh, the only difference is that when uh, you open up your, you boot up your uh, your system for the first time on the welcome screen, you're going to get this uh, Build Your Custom Arch Distro link right here. So in this case, I've done that. I've installed the ISO, and this is the first boot. And right here on the welcome screen, we have the option. And it says right here, build your custom Arch Distro. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and get it started so you can see what I've done. All right. So this opens up the Linux Hub Builder. And see right here, it says uh, this tool will guide you along to build your own custom Arch Distro. And then you got a link right here. It says continue. Click on it. And right here, before you start editing files, write your system to your desired look and feel. And you got a couple hints right here. It says if you download an image as your background, make sure it is located at home, ISO, relaying, air root of fist, etc. Walls, one walls. So this is your wallpaper folder for Linux Hub right here, this section. I know most systems usually share user share background, but I've done it in this uh, place right here. It just makes it easier for me, but so this is where you want to put your photos at. So right here, the dollar sign in home, this just means your home directory. So if I open up a folder, basically that dollar sign in home directory points to this ISO right here. So if I minimize this home and then ISO relaying air root of fest, et cetera. So all this means is your home folder. And then from there ISO and you just follow the links. So in that case, if I'm looking for the folder one and et cetera, and there it is one, and there's a folder called walls, and you put your wallpapers in there. All right, and the same thing, if you uh, decide to use a custom theme that you download off the internet, you have to make sure you put it in the home folder and then follow the directory to your themes folder. All right, but in this case, I'm just gonna use the, uh, the installed themes that are already installed. So I got right here, there's a button that says set your theme. So I'm gonna click on it. And from the uh, LX appearance, I'm just going to select the theme that I'm comfortable with. So, you, you know, you got plenty to choose from here. You got pop, materia, you know, high contrast, arc. You got a quite a range of set of, uh, of themes that you can use. So let's say in this case, let me see how this looks. I'll click on apply, then I'll open up a folder. All right, that looks pretty cool. So I'll stick with that. Then you got your icon themes. Nah, let's go with something like that. I can go with a light. If I want to change it to a red theme, a mint theme, sand theme, silver theme. Then you got your papyrus icons, C, vintage. I mean, you have a whole range. But in this case, I'm going to use the Bloom Dark. So Bloom Dark is going to be my icon set. Click on apply. I'll open up a folder again. Just take a look at them. All right. So yeah, that works for me. I'm good. And on the mouse code, mouse cursor, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll select the uh, bloom dark. So I'll click on apply and I'll go ahead and close that. All right. Now to set my wallpaper, like I said, you could, you can use your standard, uh, wallpapers that are right here. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and download a wallpaper. So. And for the sake of this video, on the last one I created a King Kong Linux. This one I'm gonna call it Godzilla. So let's do some Godzilla theming. Alright, go to the images, find a nice uh, Godzilla image that I can use. Let me find a large one. Let's see what works here. I'll download this one. And this one looks pretty cool. So I'll do save image as. Now, let me see if it'll allow me to go into the ISO, Reeling, Air Rudifest, et cetera, one, and walls. 
Let's see if it'll allow me to save here. And it did. All right. So if I want to change it here on my system, what I have to do is also save it on the et cetera one that's on my actual system, not in the home folder. So let me also do save image as, and I'll go here, and I'll go to my system, et cetera, and go to one and walls. It may not allow me to save here because this is in the, in the root folder. So yeah, it did not allow me to save it here. So what I can do is go to this folder where I downloaded it before, and I'll just copy it and go to my uh, root folder, et cetera, one walls, and then uh, open as root. And then I'll paste it in there manually. So now I put it into my actual root directory. All right, so I'll go ahead and close this down. You know what, I should have kept that open just, but uh, I'll get back to that right now. All right, so now I'll go to set my wallpaper and let me find the new Godzilla image. There it is right there. All right. So there's my Godzilla image. I'll click on apply. All right. So that's uh, my wallpaper set. My theme is set. So I'll click on OK. All right. So now we got some uh, some entries we want to enter here. So it says enter your desired distro name below with underscores. Example, your underscore distro underscore name underscore and whatever version. So I'm going to call this Godzilla version one. Godzilla underscore V1. Then I'll click on OK. All right. And now we want to enter some grub menu entries. That way, when you boot up your system, it'll, it'll give you your distro name. So uh, right here, it'll be Godzilla version one. And on this one, you don't have to put underscores. So Godzilla version one, click on okay. All right. All right, now we got something here that says, enter a label for your menu launcher example. So this is like right here on the button, right here where it says Linux hub, you wanna change that to your own distro name. So in this case, it's gonna be Godzilla. Enter it there. All right. If you want to put the version number there, you can put that there or whatever, but just simple Godzilla. It's just a button for a label. And I'll click on OK. All right. Enter a host name for your custom Arch distro, all lowercase. So in this one, it's going to be Godzilla. All right. Then I'll click on OK. OK. It says brand your installer to show your custom distro name. Example and so this one's going to be uh, Godzilla version one. Then I'll click on OK. All right. It says edit the following images to your desired custom look branding for your distro. And this is right here, the path to all the images you want to edit. But I also set them up right here so you can open them up with the uh, GIMP. So the first one we're going to edit is going to be the splash image. So I'll go ahead and open that right there. All right, so this is the image you get when you boot up your ISO. So I'm just gonna put that, uh, I'm just gonna put that one image over the top of it. So let me go to my home folder and let me I'll go to ISO, relaying, air root, et cetera, one, walls, and Godzilla. All right, so now I got to shrink it down. All right, there it is there. I'll scale it and then I'll throw a little uh, shader over the top. And I'm going to fill in that and then I'm going to give it some opacity, just make it darker. This is just so you can see the text better. But uh, I'm happy with that, and I'm just gonna overwrite the image. Overwrite splash PNG, it's overwritten. All right, I'm done with that image. Close. All right, next one's gonna be the welcome image. So let's go ahead and.
Okay, I'm done with all the images. So uh, go ahead and click on done. All right, congratulations. You are ready to build your custom arch distro. So there's a button right here that says build your ISO image. All right, it opens up a terminal for you and it's gonna build the ISO. You just give it your password. All right, yeah, it's on its way. So at this point, you can just go ahead and make yourself a cup of coffee. Wait five to 10 minutes and your ISO should be completed. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back once the ISO is completed. Okay, we are done now. And you get another message here that says, a backup of your ISO folder has been created at home ISO backup. So if you open up your uh, folder, you see you have a backup right here. So just in case something went wrong, you have a backup of your ISO folder right here. All right, and this is the original ISO folder that you're working with. And it says your ISO was created at your home folder ISO output, which is this folder right here. So if you open up here and right now it's on top. So we'll go through that right now. And then we've got a little message right here that says, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter for all my hard work on this project. And that is continuing and ongoing. Thank you, Linux Hub. And I got a link right here to open up uh, my Patreon. So just a little, you know, show a little if you want to give me a little tip or just uh show me some love you can click on that but uh let me go ahead and cancel that now so right here we have an iso that was created for us it is godzilla version one so what i'm going to do is just copy this over to my system so i can open it up in a virtual machine so uh i'll pause the video now when we come back we'll be booted into or at least uh, starting up uh, godzilla version one all right i got the iso loaded up in a virtual machine and you can see where it starts up right here you can see the splash image that we edited and it says godzilla version one install medium it's going to open up that okay the iso is booted up now and you can see our uh our theme in and background and menu label is all transferred over so this is now godzilla linux and you can see the message right here you get on the installer it says godzilla installer and Let's take a look at our, uh, uh, let me close that down. Let me open up the file manager so you can see right here. All right, so let's get this started. So uh, I'll go ahead and install Godzilla Linux and we'll boot it up so you can see what it looks up on first boot. You can see right here on the installer, it says, welcome to Godzilla V1, Godzilla V1. And then it's all uh, branded to your, uh, to your distro name. But the installation and everything will all be the same. And the installation has now been completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the system so we can take a look at our newly created Godzilla Linux. And there you have it. We are rebooted into Godzilla Linux and this is the welcome screen with your uh, edited image. Of course, you can put whatever you want on there. You got your background saved and you got your theming saved. So let's open up a file manager. You got all your themes, your folders, everything is saved the way you saved it. And you got everything. So uh, you got your Godzilla settings. Everything is pretty much uh, set up the way you want it. So. Uh, yeah, the automated way to uh, build your own custom uh, Arch distro. And like I said, you could get more into detail and edit it even more if you want to. But uh, this is just a uh, automated uh, distro created right here that you can use to create your system. All right, that's going to do it for this video. So uh, I'll have the links up shortly. So they may this this version may or may not be up on the website already. Uh, I am a little busy right now doing other things, but I'll try to get it up ASAP. All right. And this will be the Linux hub open box builder. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.